What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here, and today we're gonna play a ranked match. Uh, gonna play with the Vitruvian deck of mine, just because um, it is the next quest for me to do, and I gotta complete those daily quests so I can have a steady inflow of gold and keep building on my playset. Um, haven't done Vanar in a while. Maybe next video I'll do Vanar again. And uh, also, I mean, you may have seen, I don't think I recorded a video of me playing that uh, heal uh, Zoran Lion R deck, um, but I just uploaded a Lion R uh, ranked match last time, so didn't want to do that today. I'm going to go back to some Vitruvian. And let's see, I'm going second, so I can play the Fireblaze Obelisk. And go, playing that right away might actually be a great idea. I'll get rid of the early Dominate Will. And um, we're playing Lana Del Rage, who is S rank three. I'm S rank twenty one, so yes, I did drop a little bit. I lost a couple games, and I don't. I only think there's about like twenty S rank players right now because I lost like one. I lost a game when I was at twenty, and then I went down to like twenty one and lost another one. And I stayed at twenty one, so I think there's only about like twenty or so S rank players so far. And uh, I did just beat Lana Del Rage though, so. Hopefully I can get a win here. And dispel against dispel against uh Swarm Abyssian. Uh okay, I'll hold on to it. I'll just get rid of the Amara as much as I like the Amara. Uh probably should do that. And do I go do I go aggro and just play this right away? Maybe, right? Play back here and you can't touch it. Where do I put this? I'm so inexperienced with this deck, I don't know where to put these things. I'll put it here. So he can hit it with his general for two. But I don't think, uh, I don't think, um, it's gonna be able to destroy it really. Hopefully there's no dispel for it. That bit scene doesn't really have much dispel at their disposal though. Dispel at their disposal. Here's a little wet. It's pouring today and I was just outside bringing in the garbage cans. Blood tear. Okay. In that case, I'll get rid of the Blind Scorch right now. Fortunately, this is going to get a monstrous attack, right? I think so. So, goodbye Fireblaze Obelisk. I'm um, going to play Sojourner. Sojourner Jaxi maybe. Play them both because why not? Sure. So I'll play the Sojourner. And then I'll go with the uh Jaxi. Then I can give something one one. I'll give it to the Sojourner, I guess rather than getting one extra damage with the wind dervish and I will just hit his general because I got a Zen Rui hit his general because um, I want to get rid of the soul grimoire and that will be our turn so we're playing pretty aggressive here a lot of, a lot of things on the board already um, uh, actually the Sidroner will be taken out with one hit um, if the blood tier just punches my general right now or the jaxi so oh well hopefully it at least draws us one card I guess uh, I should have put the 1-1 one, one on maybe I mean nothing really else would have deserved the 1-1 one, one. okay but wisely gonna take out the fireblaze obelisk so I guess it's, he doesn't have like another uh, blood tier alchemist to get rid of that 
He's at 6 attack now. Oh, he's actually going to get to 10 attack. Ouch, and he's going to be able to hit my general for 10. That's a lot of attack. Oh my god. Holy cow. I thought he was going to destroy this adjoiner, but... Oh, he didn't? Why didn't he attack me? Oh, he already attacked. I, I was so confused there. Okay, that's not even that bad then. I don't know why I didn't get rid of this adjoiner, because I wouldn't have drawn a card. Um, That was awesome. Uh, <laughs> he has this massive attack, but I can just get rid of it right now by sacrificing my fist adjoiner. I'll draw a card. It's all good. Um, This turn, Zen Rui, I can get a Wraithling. That's probably not the best play. I think probably another sojourner, science first wish, and iron shred. I think so. First, let me. Um, I guess I'll stand right in front of you. First, let's lose this. See what we draw. Fire blaze. Um, fire blaze is cool. I think I'm gonna go with the fire blaze. Because when the, you want to play your obelisk when the board is cleared, you know? Um, but then what do I even... I guess I can put the 1-1 one, on one, the Iron Shroud. Okay, let's play the Iron Shroud first. Let's give that the 1-1. One, one. It's going to have 4 attack because of this Fireblaze Obelisk. And, oh, I didn't even replace anything. I guess at this point in the game, get rid of the Sojourner. Not really a leader game card. And yeah, this is going to be tough for him to uh, get out of. I always feel a little bit like not as strong as Vitruvian because of the huge nerf to its Bloodborne spell. But like a start like this is hard to counter. Because he has it's a 4 3 there. And there's my Obelisk, but she doesn't have a. Hopefully, doesn't have a way to get rid of that. And I'm coming up on Vitruvian's late game is really strong. Oh, there's the Zen Rui, though. Well, we're going to have a Zen Rui to counter the Zen Rui, actually. Perfectly. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just play the Zen Rui myself. I'll take my Obelisk back. And I'll get rid of the Dominant Will for next turn if he plays like anything huge, like a Vorpal Reaper. Um, and I'll get rid of... That's a tough choice. I think Siphon Energy. I don't know what Siphon Energy really uh, needs to be played on in his deck. Because anything like like a Warp Warper, I could just like take with Dominate Will. So, yeah. Unless he plays it far away from me. We're just going to get rid of this. Blind Scorch. That's a handy card. But right now, I think I'm just going to... Zen Rui. This gets to four attack, and I might actually just blind scorch so I can uh, keep this thing around. Yeah, why not? No real reason not to. And let's just stop him from running away too far. I'm actually positioned not the best. I wish this was actually right here so I have a higher chance of the obelisk spawning something in range of this. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Zenru versus Zenru. Okay. So nothing I can dominate well here. I think it's just going to be a Primus Shield Master time. Um... Well, I gotta get rid of this. I can't just let this thing spawn things. So if I attack that and that, I can destroy that. Probably do the blind scorch again. All seven. Sign second wish. Oof. Blind Scorch is interesting. I might want to go with the Blind Scorch. Let's get rid of the sign, Second Wish. It doesn't look like we're like that close to lethal. Okay, well, that's not going to help right now. So I'm going to go for another Blind Scorch. Second time. This is like deja vu. We just traded, uh, traded the Obelisk and now, um, 
Now I'm doing the blind scorch play on a Zenru again with this thing attacking it. What in the world? Um, I'll play the Iron Shroud near here somewhere. And I'll just provoke. Okay, we're actually in a pretty good spot. Um, only problem is he can actually play like a Vorpal, a Vorpal Reaper, like over here, and I can't reach it with my general. Which means the Dominate Will and potentially Entropic Decay would not be usable. Okay. Okay! Sorry about that. Deathfire Crescendo, okay. So, I could Dominate Will that thing if it gets really big. Dominate Will, it, it doesn't dispel it, right? I take control of the uh, thing as is with all the spells on it, too. All the traits. So, I think that's how a Dominate Will works. <laughs> so, I can actually take a huge unit. Or I can just trade. What's he gonna do with that? Is he gonna hit it with his general or just push it to the corner? Corner. Okay. Um doesn't look like he's gonna be playing a primary shield master or anything, so I'll get rid of the hollow growth keeper. Okay, um I think uh the best play here is because I can't even I can't destroy this, so I have to I have to dominate will it. Fun times, fun times. So let's just get closer to the battlefield with these dudes. Um, and I'm gonna go here. I guess I'll hit you a little bit. And then I'll dominate Will. So I do get it as 74, yeah. Yes, it is still 74. And it still has, and we topped like another dominate will. Perfect. That's the cards you want in the late game. Could use some MR healers right now, but I don't really want to ask for much more. I, my draws have been pretty good this game. Had the Zen Ru when I needed it. So did he though twice, but mine felt more effective. So we're even on cards, um, but okay, more death watch. I have to kind of watch out for like a lethal bear he can get, so maybe I shouldn't be keep hitting face. I guess I should now because right now his attack is okay, so he does have that to take care of my huge dude. And now I'm afraid of his general. Like very afraid. So it's time to Primus. Um You know, do I just play Primus with Sign Second Wish as well? Give a plus two two, which can just be negated by this right thing. Okay, never mind. Let's get rid of the sign second wish. Okay. Um, I think now I run away, right? I think I move in with these. At least it with like Lilith. I don't have to worry really about positioning. Like not like I don't have to worry about like like out of hand things that will really help on my bad positioning so let's move in and then get the hell out of here just in case and I will healing mystic and primus just in case he can just get rid of the Primus. Yeah, I should do that. I should do all of that. So Healing Mystic, Primus Shield Master, and I'm spawning a thingy. So I'll have, every turn I can spawn a thingy now, a little Iron Shred. And yes, we got top deck of our Amara. So we have options next turn. We have options of big, big plays. And we have a lot of units on the board right now. Something, usually don't end up flooding the board with Vitruvian, but he thinks the other way around where Lilith is flooding the board. So unfortunately, uh, you can one-shot that. Wraithling Swarm. 
Okay. Well, and shadow spawn. Are you gonna run away with your general or stay there? And a jaxi. Stays there. Oh, he can't run away. He already attacked. Um, I just have to hit his general to get rid of its uh, artifacts, so that's not too bad. Um, what should I lose? What should I lose? What should I lose? Oh, do I have lethal? Yeah, I have lethal. Right? <laughs> because these two things would have enough damage to destroy it. Yeah, I just have enough creatures to win. Well played, and I even had the Amara and Dominate Will, or whatever. Okay. So it's always good to beat S rank number 3 player, and I'm still at 21. <laughs> so I think that means I was pretty deep at 21 and the worst S rank player, maybe. I don't know. I did top out at 5 again. Hopefully, this season does not go exactly like last season, where my... Uh, best rank is like right from the start and then I'm just downhill from there so we're at 16 minutes last time with the Vitruvian deck in a video I think it was at around this time and I tried to squeeze another match and then the video went way too long so hopefully that doesn't happen this time we'll try to make some quick plays not take up the whole timer but uh I don't like posting a video with less than 20 minutes it does not sit well with me not really this Vitruvian deck isn't even really optimized for this current, uh, current, like, meta kind of thing, because it is just the same as, like, a top Vitruvian. It's, it's, what it is, it's just, um, it's just control Xerix, or mid range Xerix controls Xerix from before the nerf to the Bloodborne spell, so it's really, like, two seasons ago Xerix, but. So it's just performing a little bit worse than it would have with with the Super Bloodborne spell, where it summoned a Dervish with Rush instead of just a Dervish. At least these Dervishes stay around. Uh, you definitely play Primus Shield Masters. I'm gonna hold on to this. Um, hmm. Let's get rid of early Amara, and ooh, do we get rid of Entropic Decay here? Yeah, get rid of Entropic Decay. I don't think he's gonna play huge threats early on. Okay, so we'll have a turn once a joiner. Good luck, have fun. Blat him. Like, way back, uh... Way back when I played this game last summer, um, like, when it just came, like, it was still in, like, alpha or whatever. Like, if you didn't know, I was one of the earlier players playing this game, but then I took a very long absence from it. But... What I was just saying is that Vitruvian was like uh, my other deck with Lionar. I played a lot of Vitruvian with all the blast mechanic and a lot of Lionar. But now Vitruvian doesn't seem as strong as it once was. Fortunately, don't have. Um, should I put this over here? I gotta put it right here actually so that he can't uh, easily get infiltrate this coming turn. Okay, yeah, I wish I had a science first wish to put plop right on that. But as it stands, he can't destroy it with the attack he has on field. And it's slightly unfortunate that um, I only have one open slot in my hand. So there's no, re there's no reason he wouldn't attack it twice if he's already attacking it once. So I wouldn't draw a card the second time. You know, I'm not a huge fan of Sojourner. Might want to just like, I don't know, what other three drop could slot in there? Not sure. It just feels like kind of clunky. Like I'd rather have like Sworn Sister Lakian as my, as my unit there. As my, what's it called? Um, card draw, but that's at four mana. Okay, so not a great start for us. I will... I guess we're gonna go with a Sojourner, Signs First Wish, Dunecaster, Arash's Curse. That could be cool. I mean, well, 
Charles Winter Blade won't play any artifacts, so I think this is probably going to be a dead card. Um, I'll get rid of it. I mean, it does combo with the Doomcaster, though. Okay. So... Do I use both of my Scions for a Swish? Probably not, right? I think I want to be kind of aggressive here. Let's put it here. At least put one on it. I could have used two if I got the Mana Orb. And Amara. I can actually play the Amara if I can walk onto this Mana Spring with my Sojourner next turn, which is unlikely. But you never know. Ideally, he plays a Primus Shield Master here. That is what I would love to happen because I have the hard counter to provoke Hollow Grove Keeper. Might, I'm actually considering crafting a third and adding it to the decks I have. Right now I have two in a bunch of my decks, but not three. I actually just ran out of spirit though because I did craft a couple Aegis Barriers. I realized I had none, and a lot of people were telling me that that's a good uh, way to make your. Um, RG on deck uh, more viable against Songhai, which has easily been my worst faction so far. Okay, so he's gonna destroy that, and I won't draw uh, two cards, I'll only draw one card, unfortunately. I don't, I don't even know what card that was, it just popped up. Hopefully, it wasn't something really good. And a Blood Tear. Ouch, okay. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to like combat all this stuff. A lot of stuff on the board right now that I can't really deal with. Um, I'll get rid of the Siphon Energy. Another one of these. Well, I don't really want him hitting me in the face. Do I really take more damage on my general? Like, I can't really do a whole lot here. I guess I go 2 drop, 2 drop, and then this Bloodborne spell. And just hope I can pull off the Amara Healer somewhere safe next turn. I guess so. These are weak two drops though. Um, let's do it. Let us do it. Let's kind of protect my general. Wait. No. I would actually like to... I'll take more damage on my general. I'd rather... I'd rather get rid of the 4 up. Then I'll play this, there, spawn an Iron Shroud. I have these signs for Swish that are just sitting here now, unfortunately. Uh, is that optimal positioning? Probably not. <laughs> At least I have a bunch of units now to go with his units. Yeah, just think of how much better this, like that last turn would have been before the Bloodborne spell nerf. Would have gotten a 4 4 attacking with the Dunecaster. Would have survived hitting the Blood Tier Alchemist. Oh well. I mean, I guess I'm glad that it was nerfed. It was very overpowered and. But I never had too much problems facing the Eryx with Lionar. I think that's one of Lionar's better matchups. Dancing Blades, probably should have played around that better because I know that Kara loves to run Dancing Blades. Kara is basically the general that runs all those, like, good neutral minions. Okay, and we are down to, what? Oh, he does not attack there. Well, you know... Jaxy, 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 Jaxy could combine with Science first with first wish very well after it spawns the thingy, the corner thingy. Think I'm gonna just Amar a healer though. Do I replace the Jaxy? Yes, yeah, sure. I'm gonna replace the Jaxy. Dunecaster. Well, I guess I'm gonna play that there. Could have you attack there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to 
Move back. Okay, I'm, protect I'm protected from another Dancing Blaze. Not going to put any more damage on my general. And pass my turn, so... Oh, I forgot Aymar here is only a 5-5. Five five. Darn. For some reason I thought it was a 6-6. Six six. So that's, that's one shot from the Dancing Blades. That kind of sucks. I need to dominate Will. I mean, even then, that card won't save me most likely, but give me a fighting chance, probably. Okay, so I assume you're going to hit the Iron Durish now. Unless you have, like, a Maw. Yep, you have a Maw. Ouch. Yeah, the Truvian doesn't really get rid of these minions too well. And I see you're not playing anything with Provoke. Ugh, I could do this. I mean, I'm just dead, though. I'm just dead. What the heck am I gonna do? Whoops. Then I guess I just Dune Caster? Oh, this still kills it. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna give, yeah, that's still dead, so I'm just gonna give this more health so it, the spell jammer can't easily destroy it. Okay, so I have a big unit now, and I have my own dispel, which that has connect power 1 1, so dispelling that would not outright destroy it. I love it when I can dispel things and they just get outright destroyed. Okay, well, we did draw a bunch of there. Um, haven't lost the game yet. I mean, we're both at 20 health now because of that Aymara healer, so kind of evened up the health there. Uh, I have a dominate will now, so I can take any giant minion I want. All his minions are giant though, so it's not like I'm going to be taking a giant minion. Okay, there we go. That's what I like to see. You playing into my hollow growth keeper. <laughs> Uh, so Hollow Grove Keeper, and okay, so I'll start with the Hollow Grove Keeper, then I'll have three more. I can play a Fireblaze Obelisk. Let's see, you have two. I'll, uh, Fireblaze, am I even going to be able to play that? If I play that, it's going to be like, I'd have to, this would have, yeah, it's just gonna be like destroyed so easily. I can't play this. If I've had like airdrop like over here, then maybe. But then it wouldn't even reach, yeah. Fireblaze Obelisk is more of an early game card. Would have been perfect to be on mana with the Hollow Grove Keeper, but unfortunately, no point in even playing. Okay, Jaxi, that works. So I'll destroy that. I could have used Dominate Will, but when I have a different hard counter I could save the Dominate Will, I'll definitely take that option. Um, and then I can play the Jaxi. Just for pinging in the corner. If I hit this, I really have to lower his hand size. If I dispel that and I hit it with my general, yeah, I can't really let. Let's dispel it. I had two, two, right? Yes, okay. And let's try to minimize the dancing blades. Yeah, the reason I did that was because his deck probably benefits more from draw than mine because he can keep doing these uh kinetic surge now I can do a kinetic surge actually every single turn scary scary stuff ah cryogenesis that's not what I wanted to see that likely will be uh the uh last straw don't think I'm gonna be able to survive there just gives him more card draw he has so many resources now I mean, they did top tech Nightmare, so that could probably hold him off a tiny bit longer. Healing Mystic, yeah, he's 5 6 Healing Mystic. Um, he did trap me in, so I can't play a minion, but I still have the Jacks here, so I can play anything next to that. Unfortunately, I cannot play my Bloodborne spell then, though, unless I kill something. What can be killed, though? I could dominate Will something. Do I really dominate Will a 5 6? Just a vanilla 5 6. I guess all his minions right now are gonna be like vanilla like things. 
Okay, I'll get rid of this just because I need bigger things here and big swingy plays. Okay. So I can blind scorch that, kill it. Blind scorch. Then you die. And then, I, ugh, what's annoying here is like, if I play the AMR healer right now, then I can't get it. I have to place it here to provoke everything, but then I can't play my Bloodborne spell. Ugh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to not use my Bloodborne spell this turn. Or I can dominate Will this thing. But then I'm facing. Then it's just lethal anyways. If he just destroys something easily. Uh, I gotta get the MR down, I think. Yeah, let's get the MR down. Okay. And I'll hit that. And I got my own Primus Ephemeral Shroud, that's going to be game. Well played. I hung out as long as I can, but uh, just uh, too many big creatures for me to deal with. Well, there's a win and a loss in a 30 minute video. And I actually went up to 20, so I gained S rank points, I guess, from that loss. I don't know how S rank works, it's a little confusing. I thought I, think they, I thought they were gonna make a, a post on duelist.com that changed how S rank worked. I thought that was supposed to come soon. Well, thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Keep on dueling, duelists.